Hello everyone, welcome to Pabli Connect. In this video, I'm going to tell you how you can create your first automation workflow with Pabli Connect. So here you can integrate different applications. In this particular video, I have taken a simple example of Google Forms and Gmail integration. So every time there would be a new submission to Google Form or any other form builder application, then how can you integrate it with Gmail so that automatically a mail can be sent? So to understand that, let's begin. So to begin, we are going to type the URL pabli.com slash connect. And as we do that here, we have reached a landing page. On the right hand side, we have two options, sign in and sign up for free. So if you are an existing user, simply click on sign in. If you are a new user, you can click on this tab sign up. It is not going to take more than two minutes. And also at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks. So now I'm going to click on sign in as I'm an existing user. And here, once you log in, you will reach all applications page. So these are the various products of Pabli and here we are going to click on access now for Pabli Connect. So as we do this, here we have reached a dashboard. On the right hand side, we have a tab create workflow. So I'm going to click on this and a dialog box has appeared which is asking us to name this workflow. So here my objective is every time a new response is received through my form builder application submission which is Google Forms that automatically with the information that I have received, I should be able to send a mail to the user. So here I'm going to name it as Google Forms Gmail integration. Now let's click on create. As we do that, here we have reached another window which has got two extremely important events. One here is trigger, another one is action. Now triggers and actions are basically the two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens, action says do this. Basically action here is the response of your trigger application. Now as per this integration, my trigger application here will be Google Forms. Let's click on this. Now comes the trigger event. So this is the event that is going to make this workflow run. So here it would be new response received. So this workflow is going to run every time a new response is received. Now here you can see it is written that this trigger will instantly capture new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time which basically means that this trigger application has got no polling time. The moment a new response is received, automatically this workflow is going to trigger. And now here we have received a webhook URL, which is going to act as a bridge for connecting Pabli Connect with Google Forms. So I am going to copy this. And once we have copied this here, you can see this here is the help desk given. So please read this carefully. Now I'm going to exactly tell you what you have to do. So first of all, let me take you to the Google Forms. So this is my Google Forms account. And here I already have created a form. The name is feedback form. And you can see that we have the following fields, full name, email address, contact number, department. And then we have a question. What is your opinion on the new HR policy? So this is basically a feedback form for the new HR policy. Now, what we have to do is to integrate Google Forms with Pabli Connect, we have to first go to the last field. And as we come here, you can see the required option. So toggle this towards the right so that every time the form is filled and the moment this last field is filled, then automatically the response can be received. Now we'll go to responses. And here we have got these three dots. Let's click on this. Now here we have the option to select the destination for responses. As you go here, we have got two options. Either we can create a new spreadsheet or you can select an existing spreadsheet. So here I'm going to go ahead with the first option. Let's click on create. And as I do that here, we can see it is linked to the spreadsheet. So let's view this in sheets. Now here you can see that a spreadsheet has been created with all the fields that were there in the form, including timestamp that is going to address the date and time of the response received. Okay, now I'm going to take you back to Google Forms and here let's click on preview form. Now here we have to fill up the form. So the full name is dummy new 123. Then the email address here is dummy new at pablitudes.com. Then we have the contact number. Then we have the department. Let's say it is the finance department. 
and then what is the opinion on the new HR policy so here I'm going to write I am highly satisfied with the new HR policy okay and now I'm going to click on submit as soon as we do that now I'm going to take you to the Google sheet that has been created and you can see that the response has been added here. So once the response has been added here, we are supposed to integrate this Google sheet with Pabli Connect. To do so, first we are going to take you to extensions and here let's click on add-ons, go to get add-ons and here we have reached Google Workspace Marketplace. Now here I'm going to look for Pabli Connect webhooks. Here it is. And you can see that this particular application has already been installed on my system. So first you have to install it. And once you have done that, please close this window and do not forget to refresh this page. And once you have done that, please wait for a few seconds. And then we are going to go back to extensions and you would be able to see Pabli Connect webhooks here. Let's go to initial setup. So here another dialog box has appeared and you can see that it has already selected the sheet name. And now this webhook URL that we had just received, I'm going to copy this once again and paste this over here. Then comes the trigger column. Now the trigger column is the final data column where the data is added. And here in this particular sheet, our final data column is column F where the data is added. So I'm going to write F here, click on submit. So as we do that, we can see that the setup has been configured successfully. Now let's click on send test. And once again, you can see that the test data has been sent successfully. So once this is done, I'm going to close this. And you can see here in Pabli Connect that I have received the response. So this here is the answer to the last question. Then the trigger column, timestamp, split sheet name and ID, sheet name, sheet ID, row index, full name, email address, department and contact number. Now I want that every time a new response is shared from there, so automatically Pabli Connect should get the information. And to make sure that this happens, we have to go to extensions once again, Pabli Connect webhooks and here you can see send on event. Just click on this. As you do that, you would be able to see a tick mark right in front like this okay this basically means that now every time new information would be added here automatically it would be received by Pabli Connect. Now what is my objective that I want to send this particular person a mail. So my action application here would be Gmail. Let's click on this and the action event here would be to send email. Let's click on connect. So here Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with a Gmail account. Now to set up this connection, first I'm going to select add new connection, connect with Gmail. So here it is asking me to choose an account. Basically, I'm going to just choose the account to which I wish to send the email. Here Pabli Connect wants to access my Google account. This is absolutely secure. So I'm going to click on allow. And as I do that, we can see that the authorization has been successful. Now, as I take you down here, we have to enter the following information, the recipient's email address, CC, BCC, sender's name, email address, etc. So how do I enter the recipient's email address? So as I click on this, you can see the previous step here. And as I click on this and take you down, this here is the email address of the person. Now the method with which I have added the information here is known as mapping. And mapping is important so that every time the workflow runs, it can take the new data into consideration. So had I written this email address manually, so what would have happened? So in that case, even when my workflow was running for the nth time, it would have only taken this email address and not the new email address that it would have received through the form responses. To avoid that, we go ahead with mapping. Now the next thing is CC, BCC. If you wish to add, you can always add them here. These are not the required fields. Now everywhere where you can see this required tab. So this is important and this field is to be entered. Otherwise, you can even leave that blank. Next is the sender's name. So the sender's name here, I'm just going to write Pabli Connect. Now, why did I write this manually? Because the name of the sender is not going to change every now and then. And if you want to map this, you can also do the same. So once this is done, next is the email subject. So the email subject is thank you for your response. Next is reply to, then the email content type. This is going to be plain. Now is the email content. So I'm going to write dear. Now I'm going to map the name of the person. 
so here is the name so dear dummy new one two three thank you for your feedback we highly appreciate the same regards now if you wish to add any file so you can enter the url over here and the name of the file over here what i'm going to do is i'm going to simply click on save and send test request and as we do that here we have received those response according to which a mail must be received by the person let's go and check the same so here we can see that yes we have received the mail dear dummy new one two three thank you for your feedback we highly appreciate the same regards so this is how the integration has taken place but we also need to check the same in real time so i'm going to submit another response and this time let's say the full name is smart user then we have the email address which is smart user at pablitudes.com then we have the contact number now the department so let's say it is marketing department this time and what is your opinion i am not okay with the new policy please discuss okay and now i'm going to click on submit as soon as i do that what should happen automatically a mail should be received so now let's go to our email address and here we are going to check and yes you can see dear smart user and then we have received the mail so this means that our integration is a complete success so i'm going to take you back to public connect now to understand what exactly we have done so here our trigger application was google forms where the event was new response received and our action application was gmail where the event was sent email so this is how you can create your automation workflow with public connect now here instead of google forms and gmail you could have had different applications if you wish to know more about the same you can go to our website check out the integrations there you do not need any technical expertise for the same and if in case you have any specific integration to work on where you have doubts you can always write to us thank you not only this but you can integrate multiple applications using public connect software to ask any of your query you have to write at forum.pabli.com you can also visit our website which is www.pabli.com slash connect to get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.